Actually push the And there they go. Hey everybody, David Burns here. And it has been a very rainy, rainy few days here. And I've been having uh, to install a few packages to uh, expand my yard a little bit. And I'm doing it in the rain. Maybe you had to install your package in the rain too. But uh, I've been shaking them in there like the traditional way of doing it. And several people have asked me, Hey, have you he ever heard of being able just to put your package in there, take the top off the little candy can and move the queen out and just let them come out of the box without having to shake them? And yes, I did try that years ago. And as a result, they never went out of my package. They all stayed in there and got too cold at night. And the queen that was a little bit over on some frames eventually uh, that night died because they deserted her and so I never have been fond of that indirect release method as it's called but it's warmer here and I'm gonna do it just for I guess giggles I guess because a lot of people have been bringing it up it's not a new thing a lot of people have acted like it's a new thing as of 2017 not at all it goes way 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 back so it's just getting some it's getting some traction some airtime some circulation on the uh, media but um, no it's not a new thing the indirect release method it's when you move four or five frames out of the way maybe six and you actually put your package in the deep high box take the can out move the queen over and expect them all to move out overnight let's give it a try and we'll make some videos over the next few days on the progress and how well this works okay so I got my box ready kind of set up now I am using some drawn comb and that certainly is an advantage to be to be fair I guess for new beginners that do not have drawn comb I should put undrawn comb in there but um, I'm gonna leave it like it is with some partially drawn comb at least on some a few sides so let me start uh, doing the method here so you can see how it works. Okay, let's, let's try this position right here. Perfect. I think I'll take all the frames out on one side and actually push the... I'll push the cage over on that side. I'm going to take some comb and put it right up against take this frame here of comb and put it right against the box like that. Now using my queen, I'm going to take the queen out and strategically place her in a specific spot. Hang on. Okay, it's starting to rain more. I gotta go faster. It's thundering. It looks threatening. I'm taking the candy out. Gotta set it there. I gotta take the queen out. There she is. I have to pull the cap off the queen cage like this. Now I'm gonna take a nail and without hurting the queen while she's down low, I'm gonna run a nail through so it holds her. And I'm gonna place her right between these two frames, right there. I'm gonna take these bees in the candy jar, shake them right over the top of where the queen is. Pretty close. Now I'm going to put the top on because it's starting to rain. And this is always my concern. How do these bees ever come out? But we'll see what happens. Sunshine, finally. After days of rain. Hey, remember the hive that we uh, package we installed yesterday? And uh, we did the indirect release method to see if the bees would come out of the package and into, uh, onto the frames. Oh my goodness, how well does this crazy thing work, right? So let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to pop the top up, see if they've climbed out of the cage. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Not bad. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's do a little more investigating. I can see bees hanging on to the top cover there. And there they are, kind of spread out over the first frame. Not many of them down here. I mean, there are some down here. Look at this. I'll just pick them up with my fingers and put them over there. <laughs> but there's a few more in there. Oh, there's a lot actually. Well, I just got to leave those bees. Poor bees. I hate to leave them in that package. Tonight it's going to get cold. Everybody over here, the other side, please. There we go. Can't get them all out. They're still, see them down in there? They're still up underneath that lip. Dock on it. So, okay, I don't, I don't like that because I like them all to be out of the cage and they're not. bees on I can't see I'm gonna say it looks like to me there's a pathway all the way through and it's full of bees we're gonna say the Queen's out it's too cold for me to continue to keep this hive open too much longer um, get off my fingers everybody back in the hive bees on the hand hey okay bees off of the hand well, unfortunately, it, it did work better than I thought, but I'm telling you, there are just gobs of bees under here. Let me see if I can... Ow! Just got stung in a finger. It was my fault. Look at that. I pushed against her, and she just nailed my hand. Doggone it. She's like, I need off of you, buddy. I'm trying to hold the camera. I need to get that stinger out. See the stinger stinging out right there? Scrape it out. Oh, that feels so much better. All right, so probably not a good idea to reach in there with your hand, because I just smashed one on the edge there. But there's still a lot in there. Well, let's leave it overnight. Uh, maybe they'll be okay. Okay, so I'm, whoops. As you can see, I'm not crazy about the indirect release method because not all of the bees came out and it's gonna be really cold tonight and I got stung. Boo. Hey everybody, David Burns here. Uh, really rainy weekend. Not too bad on package pee pickup day on Saturday. We did pretty good dodging a lot of the rain, but boy, has it rained a lot today on Sunday. I know a lot of you in the Midwest have experienced that same Torrential downpour, it's really delayed the beads and doing stuff. They've been soaked for a couple of three days now. Colder at nights too. I made my splits. I always say never make a split before May the 1st here in Illinois. And I made them uh, before that. And now I'm paying the price for it. Having to, starting to feed some of those splits because the weather just isn't cooperating. A little cool, a little too cool at night for new splits and not much uh, ability for them to go bring nectar in during the day because uh, it's rainy during the day and they can't go get uh, can't forage and get pollen and nectar but today what I'm going to be doing I'm uh, kind of nursing along some queen and these queens uh, I need to give them a fresh round of some nurse bees out of a big hive so the nurse bees can take care of the queen so you can see here I got my box of queens that I've got to give some nurse bees to some more nurse bees and uh, they don't have a good source of nurse bees right now. They've got enough to take care of them, but they need another dose of them. And so I'm just going to go out and find a few frames of nurse bees and dump them on these queens. So I've got to open up a big hive on a rainy day and uh, take out a frame of brood, make sure I don't get the queen. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I found a pretty good uh, frame of nurse bees. I can see larvae. That they're feeding so I know there's nurse bees there and so what I'm going to be doing is just making sure I don't uh, brush the queen off and I'm looking good and I don't see the queen in there anywhere so now I'm just going to go ahead and 
I'm going to go ahead and place all of these nurse bees in with this box of queens. Let's get to work on that. And it's raining, so I've got a I've got like a hairnet that's over my camera to keep my camera dry. It's a little bit harder to work my camera in the rain. So I'm going to lift off the cover and uh, some of the any of the bees that are kind of older foraging bees, they'll be out flying around. I'm going to take my brush and brush off these nurse bees. I don't want to shake the frame really hard because I feel like when I do, I dislodge a lot of the uh, larva. So I'm just going to kind of brush the bees off onto these queens. And there they go. I'm going to get the other side too. That's going to be plenty for me. Now I'm going to put the top back on while they find out where the queens are. And this, they'll be able to feed my queen some world jelly, some good food. And then back over here, the frame that I took out, I'm going to place back in the hive. I'm going to put this hive all back together again. And some more nurse bees will come up from the bottom or from the edges and begin working that frame that I stole some of these nurse bees from. All right, very good. I'm glad I got those nurse bees out of there. That's good. Mission accomplished. I installed this uh, package in this little nuke box, and I'm a little bit worried about it getting too cold tonight. So I'm going to make sure that the queen is released one way or the other. Uh, I installed them 24 hours ago, and... As far as I'm concerned, that's plenty of time for the queen to be adjusted to this uh, new package. Let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> wow, look at that. They look really cold, don't they? They're not even moving. They're so cold. What can you do about weather that changes to be so cold? in the spring like this. So, I bet you anything the queen has been released in 24 hours because I put her right in the middle there. So, I'll try to stay on camera where you can see my, my work. So, these bees are fine, but they're just so cold that they're kind of stiff, you know. So, I'm going to pull the queen's cage out and we'll take a look. We're going to keep in mind that these bees are just awful darn cold. A lot of bees on the outside of her cage. I've got a couple of bees in the cage that are cold also. I'm going to shake them out of my hand. Let's see what they are. That's a worker bee. Put her back in there. All right. And then one right here, that's another worker bee. The queen has been released. They have opened up the candy plug. cold as they are, I hope they'll make it tonight. It's supposed to get down to 39 degrees. Kind of a rainy day, so that's why I've got my hat and veil on and a little bit longer sleeves. Working bees out here when it's rainy and cloudy like it is, is uh, a little more, uh, a, little, a little greater chance the bees might be a little more defensive. But thanks for joining me today. I'm going to film some more video as we go along next week when the weather gets a little bit better. 
I've got rain moving in again. I got a little break, so I went out of here and filmed real quick. Hey, I want to thank you all for subscribing. By the time I publish this video, we may already be at 10,000, and that's awesome, 10,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by clicking below. We'll see you next time.